Today, I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki had a great Formula 2 season in 2020, being named the driver of the year, and he came to AlphaTauri this year with the promises of being a future Red Bull superstar. There were also talks of him being a future world champion. But now that we have half a season of him in Formula 1, we may have some information to talk about Tsunoda's potential. So, does Yuki Tsunoda have what it takes to be a future Red Bull superstar? Tsunoda started karting in 2010, moving up the karting ranks until 2015. In 2016, he joined Japanese Formula 4. He also graduated from the Suzuka Circuit Racing School and joined the Honda Formula Dream Project. He raced in the Japanese Formula 4 at regional and national levels and finally won the national title in 2018. In 2019, with Honda joining Red Bull, Tsunoda became a Red Bull junior driver. He joined Formula 3 in the newly formed team and ended up scoring all the points of the team that season. In 2020, he joined Carlin in Formula 2 championship. He had a great season with 4 poles, 3 wins and a total of 7 podiums putting him third in the championship. This performance also made him the rookie of the season and won him the Antoine Hubert award. In 2021, with Daniel Kvyat leaving Formula 1, Yuki Tsunoda got promoted to Formula 1, filling his seat and teaming up with Pierre Gasly. He had a great debut, finishing 9th in the first race. After the race, Ross Brown, the technical director of Formula 1, called Yuki the best rookie in years. Yuki currently sits in the 14th spot of the championship tally with the points from 7 races. He had 2 points finishes, 9th in Bahrain and 7th in Azerbaijan. In comparison, his teammate Pierre Gasly has had a very good season so far with 37 points and 8th position in the championship. Gasly so far this season already has a podium position also in his name. Looking back in the completed races this year, in France, Yuki crashed out in qualifying and was forced to start the race from the pits. He did recover to P13 by the end of the race but that is probably attributable to the quality of the car. In Monaco, he couldn't get the car out of Q1, while the teammate put the car on 6th position in the grid. Spain qualifying was a similar story for him. In Italy, he could not even post the time in qualifying, while Gasly scored P5. So what exactly is going on here? Why is F1's best rookie in ages underperforming so much? Well, my take is that the hype around Yuki is a bit unnecessary. At the end of the day, he is a rookie and in the same level as Mick and Nikita in most aspects. That means expecting him to qualify in the front grid or get into podium is too much to ask from him this season. Now to the question, can he be a success in the future at Red Bull? Let's face it, Sergio Perez would likely move on from Red Bull in 2-3 to three years time. And the person who is most talked about to fill that seat is Yuki Tsunoda. From mid-2020s, he is talked about to be the one to team up with Max Verstappen to fight for championships for Red Bull. But we are talking about the cursed seat in Red Bull, where half of the people who have filled the seat have not stuck for long. Kvyat for a while was in that seat before he was replaced by Verstappen. Sometime after Verstappen joined, Ricardo moved on. When Gasly filled that seat, he came in with a lot of promise, but couldn't deliver much and ultimately cracked inside the Red Bull pressure cooker. He was replaced by Albon, who couldn't live up to the impossible expectations of being a Red Bull driver. Currently, Perez is doing everything right to retain that seat. But sooner or later, it would be vacant again and I would not see Albon returning to Formula 1 to fill that seat. It would likely be Tsunoda. But when that happens, we do not know yet for sure how he will fare. If the first half of this season has proved anything, it is that Tsunoda still has a lot to learn. The next year is going to be crucial for Tsunoda. There has been several examples in the past, Formula 2 success stories have been failures in Formula 1. 
If Tsunoda doesn't want himself to be added to that list, he must improve quickly and show everyone why he deserves that valuable Formula 1 seat. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.